guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we are gonna do some May 2020 cash envelopes as well as update you guys on our savings goals, which I have a whole video about our savings goals. So I will link that here in case you're interested. Here we go. So first I wanna take you to our May 2020 budget sheet. I just posted a video earlier this week about our May 2020 budget worksheet and category. So I will also link that here in case you are interested in kind of more of a in-depth look. But I did fill out a few of these categories so you guys could kind of see what was going on. We use four cash envelopes in our household. We have one for obviously Phil, we have one for myself, we have one for the kids, and we have one for the pets. Those are the four cash envelopes that we use. Groceries, my gas money, clothing, that's all kept in our regular bank accounts and separate savings accounts, if that makes sense. Here we go, let's stuff some envelopes, shall we? All right, so first up is Phil, he gets $200. He gets $50 for every Monday during the pay period. This is also for his gas money and he does have a pretty long commute to work. All right, so Phil gets $200, here we go. Yes, yesterday was payday, so I ran to the ATM and made sure that he had a 50 for each week. I used to give him like 20s and 10s and he really does prefer the $50 bill. I don't know if it's bigger, I don't know if it's a mental thing, I don't know if it's one bill and he knows he's set for the week, but so that's what he prefers is $50. So luckily our ATM gives a combination of 50s and 20s, so it's perfect. And so there it is, he gets a 50 for each week. He, there's four Mondays before the next pay period. I also clip on the date of each Monday. He knows that I did go through the calendar and make check and make sure because we did have one fight. We've been doing this now for almost, well, over two and a half years, almost two and a half years. And so we did have one little fight about if I had put a 50 in and yeah, I still think I'm right on that. But so this is what I do now to avoid another fight. That way he can double check me and make sure, granted I do have two small children, I don't get a lot of sleep, um, but all right, so those are the dates of each of his 50s. That's the total, and we're gonna put that in his cash envelope. So Phil is done. What I do after I stuff each envelope is I go ahead and I highlight just the name or the budget category so I know that it's done. That way it just feels so good to have everything highlighted so I know that all everything is taken care of, everything's accounted for, everything's paid for, everything's saved for, for the month of May or whatever month I'm working on. All right, so Phil's done. Next up, me, mwah, ha ha ha. I got new ones on Amazon. Guys, I don't recommend these. That's why I'm not even gonna bring the description in the link below or anything like that, because look at, I've had these for, this is month two, and it's already coming undone, like the glue on the side. So whatever, it is what it is. And they're too big to fit into my wallet, and my wallet's already pretty big. I just don't know if I'll buy these ones again. My nails look horrible. Anyway, I digress. All right, so I get um, I get twenty dollars a month, and that is usually just what I use for like a book or two that I see online that I want to buy. It's money that I feel comfortable with. I used to not give myself anything. This is a new thing that I started doing this year. Was I just started going? I want some personal money too, and I thought twenty dollars a month, or to go out and get a drink with girlfriends or something, just something fun, right? So, twenty dollars for me. Twenty dollars. And because we went absolutely nowhere the month of April, I already have $20 in my envelope as well as some Dutch Bros gift cards. And so guys, I feel rich. All right, next up are the kids. We have two kiddos. They also get $20 a month. We use this money for like bouncy houses, for museum trips. This is just literally kids fun money and also mama's sanity money to just to go somewhere and do something different this is their envelope um stickers we got at the dollar store that i figured would be fun for the kids to decorate their envelope all right and so the kids get 40 which i have out and again since we went absolutely nowhere the month of april they still have their 40 dollars in there so you guys i'm excited for some bouncy house trips and some kid museum trips coming up i think it's gonna be really fun so i've we'll got 40 to their envelope all right, kiddos are done. And last envelope is pets. Here again, my fur baby's envelope. And yeah, you can't write really good on this. Like I tried a couple different pens 
I don't know. They're cute though, they are really cute. And then we use the pet envelope. This is for trips to the groomer or vet trips. It's not really a fun, it's like a sinking fund really. But they get 40 a month because we have two pets, so they each get $20 as well. There's the remaining 40 that we had left. Perfect, I did my math right, yay. Okay. Cash envelopes are done for the month of May, woohoo! Moving on, I wanna show you that we had an excess of $634.02 after making sure that I budgeted out everything for our fixed bills and variable bills. A hundred of that, I wanted to make an extra payment to our appliances because we do have to pay those off by October 1st or else the interest kicks in. You know, those 0% interest things sound really good. Um, and they are, as long as you pay it off within the 12 months, right? Um, our kids' birthday savings goals, 130 to finish that off. But 104, 102, that was kind of just like the random amount that I found toward my sister-in-law's wedding this October. Tires and our car fund, 150. I normally wouldn't have probably thrown that much uh, toward the car fund and toward my winter tires for next year, but... Um, I need my oil changed desperately and all of our key fobs, the batteries are dead. So there's that, yeah. Christmas is not canceled this year. At least I don't think it is. So 150 to Christmas. And then you guys, we were under budget in the month of April. So this doesn't count towards this, obviously. We were under budget the month of April. So this $400 here, I'll just show it since it's showing on here, I'll just explain this, was actually what we went under budget because hi, we didn't go anywhere. We didn't do anything. Um, and so we rolled that over from the checking from last month. So that was kind of nice to put an extra 400 to our emergency. So, yep, 150, 150, 10402, and 130 all went to our savings goals. All right, sinking funds, savings goals, whatever you guys want to call them. So the 130 actually, and that's kind of this darker blue because I couldn't find my original highlighter. And I know that this is super archaic. It's not a pretty tracker, but it works for me. And, uh... I'm not gonna spend money on a tracker. I'm not gonna spend time on a fancy tracker. I I'm tired, you guys, I'm tired. All right, so our kids' birthdays, the goal's 500. We have achieved that goal, that feels amazing. With the addition of that 10402, we now have $200 saved up for my sister-in-law's wedding. The reason why this is so high is obviously wedding gift, bridal shower gift, bachelorette party. Um, I'm also a bridesmaid, so hair, makeup, cost associated with that. So again, this is probably going a little above and beyond, but when I like to budget out, I always like to budget out for higher than what I think I'm actually gonna spend because it's a nice surprise afterwards. And then guess what? I can put, throw that money to debt, yay. Um, tires, which is really our tire slash car fund when we need like oil changes or, or anything like that. Um, $1,500 goal. Not a lot in there, but we're sneaking up. And then Christmas, yay, our goal is $1,200. We are absolutely buying local this year because of what is going on with the economy. And we wanna support our local economy. So when you do buy local, it tends to be a little bit more money, but that's okay with us. And yeah, I was able to fill in another three columns. That's where we are on our 2020 savings goals or sinking funds, whatever you wanna call it. Thank you so much for joining me today to stuff some cash envelopes, to talk about our May 2020 budget a little bit, to discuss our 2020 sinking funds and savings goals. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button if you wanna follow along on our family's journey to becoming debt free. And I hope to see you guys next time.